Okay, so we got, we're doing a computer forensics test here. We've got a hard disk here and we made a 48 megabyte partition with FAT32 format. And on that partition there is a single file called spam.txt. And if I try to open that file, it won't open because I have corrupted the directory entry for that file. Here's a hex editor showing you what's on that disk. And here is the disk directory. This is the name of the volume, new volume. Here is the name of that file, spam.txt, and down here at location A and B, in this row is, is the location of the starting cluster of that file. And it used to say 0300, which pointed to the contents down here, which is eggs, 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 eggs. But I changed it to 00, which is an invalid value, and that's why the file won't open. But with a forensic tool, we should be able to recover data that's been obscured in this fashion because the data is still on the disk. So I'm using ProDiscover Basic, which has a free version, and if you add that disk in here and view it in cluster view, you're going to see the same hexadecimal value. So here's the master boot record, and here's another record after it, and right here in sector 2 appears the directory at location 400 hex, and right after that comes the data, eggs, eggs, eggs. The data has been found, but it's reported in the wrong location. It's appearing here in the just right near the beginning of the disk, starting at location 400, but that is completely wrong. That stuff is really all the way down here at BE200, and the contents of the first few sectors are completely different. If you take a look here, go to the top, this is the master boot record, and the next sector has just a couple of characters in it, and all these sectors are essentially empty with just a couple non-zero characters, and they are incorrectly reported by this tool. So, the bottom line here is you never can trust your tools. And if you use, take anything to court, don't take evidence you got from one tool. You have to use two tools and verify whatever you're finding because every tool has mistakes in it.